We're going to turn now to the coronavirus pandemic and a move today by the drug maker Pfizer that could actually greatly expand access to its COVID shot. One in three Americans are now fully vaccinated against COVID and cities across the U.S. are now gearing up to begin giving shots to kids 12 and over. Here's CBS's Janet Shamlian. Tonight, Pfizer is asking the FDA for full approval of its vaccine for people 16 and older. That would allow direct marketing to consumers and make it easier for employers to require vaccinations for workers. The FDA will move as expeditiously as possible without compromising its gold standard for safety. Meanwhile, millions of younger Americans may soon be eligible for the vaccine. The FDA is expected to authorize the Pfizer shot for 12 to 15 year olds next week. Will it be available through a pediatrician's offices? So the vaccine that is going to be approved is the Pfizer vaccine, which does require the ultra cold storage. So it will generally be at locations where that ultra cold storage is available, which is more likely hospitals and very centralized locations. And Pfizer is likely to seek emergency use for children as young as two in September. But less than a third of parents say they'd get their children vaccinated when they're eligible, according to a survey. Can you smile? Pediatric organ transplant surgeon Tao Galvan got her 16-month-old son Nathan vaccinated, the first yeah. child under two to get the Pfizer shot, in a study run by Texas Children's Hospital, where she works. You were concerned about putting him in the trial, but you did so anyway. Why? So having understood the data and the science and the risks involved, we felt that the benefits far outweighed the risks. And, and so that was why the decision was clearer for me. Nathan was given one tenth of an adult dose. By the end of the day, he was having a dance party with his brother. So everything was fine. He'd had two hives by his knee, but he has allergies. So he has hives every other day, honestly. Go on, Charlie. Her older son, Charlie, is enrolled in phase two of the Pfizer trial for his age group. <laughs> As the trial for children moves forward here at Texas Children's Hospital, tonight the Houston Health Department tells CBS News some 51,000 people who received the first dose of the vaccine have not returned for the second, and that could have an impact on herd immunity. Nora. All right, Janet Chamlian, thank you.